I'm Stan Frencher. I'm the medical director for search of outcomes and quality here at Martin Luther King Community Hospital and an assistant professor at UCLA. I was brought here as a junior faculty member out of residency. For someone early in their career to have an opportunity to help open a new hospital in this community, that's an opportunity that I couldn't have ever imagined. There's 1.3 million people live in South Los Angeles. When I came here, there were four urologists. Here in what used to be called South Central LA, you know, Compton, Watts, in large part, it's still one of the most challenged communities in all of California. Being the urologist who's willing to practice here makes all the difference. I thought I was gonna be a physician since I was about five, uh, and that's because of my dad. He still is a primary care physician in the inner city of Detroit, and he's been taking care of patients regardless of their ability to pay since, as far as I can remember. I didn't see becoming a doctor as unattainable. I just saw it as something that my dad did for a living. I was fortunate to be surrounded by black men who all became doctors. My uncle was a pediatrician. I thought it was just the norm growing up. Now I realize how much of an anomaly it was. I went to University of Michigan where I majored in sociology and biology. When I got to medical school, I went to Albert Einstein College of Medicine in New York. I matched at Yale, I went into general surgery, and when I made my visit out to UCLA as a clinical scholar, I fell in love with Santa Monica, and so I chose to come here. Go back and like help find like some of the dates. There's been so many occasions when I've interacted with men who are in medical school who are seeing me as a physician in academics, and that's the first time they're interacting with a black male physician. For many of us who decide to go into medicine, we have to figure out a way that we can give back and be an example and mentor those coming behind us. Clearly, there's a role for having more uh, African-American men in medicine to see that change. We need physicians who come from these various communities because we're the ones who are gonna go back and practice in those communities to which we come from. I can't tell you the number of times that I take care of a patient here in the clinic who are like, I'm really glad to see brothers like you as doctors here in this hospital. Anytime I have a challenging day, I know I can go home and throw a few weights around. It relieves a ton of stress. Last year I competed in three competitions. I never thought in a million years I'd be able to deadlift 600 pounds or bench press over 300. In powerlifting, if you don't think you can lift it, you're done. Taking that same mindset to other things that I do is really important. I think one of my biggest fears over the years was failure. When I started out here, I really struggled to get through my board exam. And the struggle is something that seemingly everybody gets through so easily really challenged my sense of like, you know, self-confidence in some ways. The biggest hurdle was to reach out and ask for help. We all experience it at some point. You know, the key is you get knocked down, you get up, but you don't have to do it alone. I have three kids and my wife, Michelle, is my rock and the person I depend on most. I hope I can be a good role model for them and I hope that they figure out a way to use their talents to do what my dad taught me to do, was to help the least among us. When he would leave in the morning, he would always say the same refrain. You know, I'd be like, yeah, Pops, where you heading? He's like, I'm going out to save lives and relieve suffering. If my kids could say that I was half as good as he is, I'd say that I've done well. I'm Stan Frencher, and I'm a black man in a white coat.